Hi friends, welcome back. Ms. Walker here and Monkey the Mathematician. And we are back today to do um, module nine, lesson one with you guys. So lesson, module nine, lesson one. Let's go ahead and start with our I can statement. So friends, go ahead and say this with me. Say, I can represent a number from 11 to 19 as a 10 and ones with objects and drawings. Okay, let's say it one more time. You ready? Here we go. I can represent a number from 11 to 19 as a 10 and ones with objects and drawings. Awesome, friends. All right, so we are going to start right away with build understanding. So let me get my pen out. I'm ready to go. Here we go, my friends. It says there are six ladybugs on a bush. Six more ladybugs join them. How many ladybugs are there now? How can you make a concrete model to solve the problem? Draw to show what you did. Awesome. Let's do our cub strategy. If you're new here joining us and you haven't seen these videos before, we always like to do the cub strategy with word problems. It really helps us understand what we're supposed to be doing. It helps us know what are the numbers we're thinking about. Do we need to add or subtract? So basically the C stands for, ready friends, say it with me. Circle the numbers, that's right. And everyone say step two, underline the question. And everyone say step three, box key words, awesome. So let's go ahead and circle the numbers, awesome. Do you, oops, do you guys see any key words here in these problems? Yeah, so how about the word more, that six more join them? That's a clue, that's a huge clue. It tells us that more are coming. And is that a clue that we're gonna be adding or subtracting? What do you guys think? You said adding, you're on track. When you're getting more, you're adding. How many ladybugs are there now? We underlined our question. Sorry, it kind of went out of order there, friends. Normally we circle, we underline, and then we box but that's okay. And I think join them is important too, because they're joining. All right, so let's go ahead and make our concrete model. So I'm going to start with some solid red circles. You can do the same if you'd like. Hmm, how many do we need to draw first? How many ladybugs were already on the bush? That's right, there were six. Can you count to six with me? One, two, three, four, five, six. Awesome. And how many more ladybugs join them? Six, that's right. Can you guys count with me to six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Awesome, friends. Friends, how many do we have now all together? So remember, whenever you fill up a 10 frame, how many do you have? 10, right away when that 10 frame's filled up, you know you have 10. So friends, we don't need to go one, two, three. We don't need to do that. We know we already have 10, so we can just count on what comes after 10, ready? 11, 12, how many ladybugs? 12, that's right, awesome. All right, part B, it says a quick picture uses sticks and circles to show tens and ones. How can you draw a quick picture to show the number of ladybugs? All right, friends, can you draw with me? So how many groups of 10 do we have? Well, let's see, how many 10 frames did we fill up? Just one, so we're gonna draw one line. That line represents a group of 10. So everyone say 10, awesome. And then we're gonna just draw two little circles to represent the next, the two that are not part of that 10. So count with me, 11, 12. That was supposed to be a circle. Awesome. So how many do we have? 12. <gasps> Time for a turn and talk. Monkey, how does the quick picture help you know the value of a number? 
How could you draw a quick picture to show the number 20? What do you think? So Monkey said that two groups of 10 make 20. So he could draw two lines to show the two tens. He said there's no one, so he wouldn't have to do any circles. Awesome, Monkey. Let's see. And how does the quick picture help you know the value of a number? What did you think about that part? Oh, he said that the line, when you just do a straight line, that, oh, he, want, he wants me to highlight and show you what he's talking about. He said that shows this group of 10. So he says, when you make a quick line like that, that's representing a filled up 10 frame. Awesome, the filled 10 frame. And then the little circles represent the ones that are not a part of that 10. Awesome, monkey, high five. Oh, that was, gotta try that again, much better. Awesome. So let's go ahead, friends. If you need more time on this page, please take your time. You can pause. We are going to get ready to move to the next page. Here we go. We're on Step It Out. It says there are nine big fish in the pond. There are eight small fish in the pond. How many fish are in the pond? Let's circle our numbers. Awesome. And then it says, how many fish are in the pond? Okay. Uh-oh. What do we do, friends, after we circle? What comes next? Underline. Let's underline the question, how many fish are in the pond? And then, friends, we're going to box those keywords. Are there any keywords here? Let's see. What do you think? Big? Yeah, a big fish. Small fish, yeah, those are important. We need to know what type of fish we're talking about and how many fish are in the pond. So first of all, we need to draw. So for the little fish, maybe we could do light blue. How many, oh, I'm sorry. I meant to say dark blue for the big fish. How many big fish are there, friends? Yeah, there's nine. Can you count with me to nine? One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Awesome. And friends, how many little fish are there? Eight. That's right. Can you count with me to eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Awesome. Okay, friends. Now we need to figure out how many there are all together. So let's look back at our picture and how many are right here? 10, right? So we don't need to go back and count 10. Can you count on from 10? So 10, what comes after 10? Ready? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So there are 17 fish. Now, friends, we need to draw a quick picture. Remember what Monkey just told us. Monkey just told us that the quick 10, when we use the line, that line represents a filled in 10 frame. So if we're trying to make a, a picture that goes along with this number, how many filled in 10 frames do we have? One. So how many 10 um, quick 10s do we have to draw? How many sticks do we have to draw? Just one. That's right. So let's draw one. Whoa, that was a little sideways. Try again, Miss Walker. Whoa, that was better. One of those. And then how many circles? How many were out here? Seven. Can you count to seven with me? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Awesome. And then friends, we are going to do a little bit of check understanding today. So it says Solomon puts eight marbles in a jar. 
Karen put six marbles in a jar, in the jar. How many marbles are in the jar? <gasps> Let's circle our numbers. We're circling eight, we're circling six. How many marbles are in the jar? All right, my friends. So <clears throat> why don't we fill up a little 10 frame to figure out what our quick picture should look like? You ready, friends? Let's do it. So how many marbles did Solomon put in the jar? Eight. Can you count to eight with me? One, two, three. I'm pretending I'm filling up a 10 frame. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. And how many did Karen put in? Six. That's right. Can you count with me? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Awesome, friends. Now, Let's just put a little rectangle around this. There we go. Now we know. Now we know that. Um, how many tens do we have? One, right? We filled up that 10 frame. We have one 10. Awesome. So when we have to draw our quick, our quick picture, we know how many sticks do we need to draw? That's right. Just one, my friends, because we know that we just have one group of 10. And then how many little circles? That's right, we're just gonna draw four. One, two, three, and four. Awesome. So we have 10, what comes after 10? 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 marbles, awesome. All right, for these two friends, you can go ahead and pause. And then if you want to unpause to check your work, that would be fine. So this is how many is this stick represent? 10. So let's count on from 10. What comes after 10? 11, 12, 13. Awesome. And then friends here, we have another quick 10. So 10, what comes after 10? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, how many? 18, that's right. Great job, friends. So proud of you guys, high five. Oh, monkey says, don't forget about him. He wants a high five too. Oh, okay, monkey, of course. Whoa, monkey, come back. He just got so excited. He wanted to give you so many high fives. Oh, he said he needs to do some flips too. Woohoo! Great job, friends. It was wonderful working with you. I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for working so hard. Have a great rest of your day.